great. And happy holidays. Thank you. And to you and your family as yeah. well. Enjoy. Thanks. I will catch up with you soon. Sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Yep. Take care. Bye. Hi, Jim. Hello. We are recording, just so you know. Thank you for that. Yep. Uh, we got a minor issue with the minutes on the open meeting law, which I'm trying to find the requirements to close right now. But one of them is you have to say where you met. Okay. Let's hold off on that until the, the just letting you know so. meeting officially starts. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. And I'm also letting you know since I'm going to be working on it, I'm not looking at anything while I find the law on it. Okay, I'm going to mute uh, until we have our quorum. Okay, fine, I'll do something. Hi, Amy. Hello, how are you? Good, just so you know that we're recording already. Well, 
And uh, I will keep on mute until we have our quorum. So. <laughs> Hello, Ellen. Hey, hi, everyone. We are recording, so I just wanted to let you know. And um, we do have a quorum, but I maybe I'll wait one. Oh, there's Shona. Okay. Hi, Shona. Hi, Shona. Hey. Hi, how are you? Okay, great. So everybody's here. We have a quorum. I will read, and Shona, just so you know, we've already started recording. Okay. Um, I will read my opening spiel that uh, I have to read. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, this meeting of the Amherst Public Art Commission is being conducted via remote participation. I'll have to do a roll call check to make sure everybody can hear me and we can all hear each other. So Amy Crawley. Here. Ellen Kider. Here. Shona King. Here. Jim Barnhill. Here. This, this meeting is being recorded to the web and could be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Uh, the meeting is now called to order. We have no attendees as of now. I will let you know if anybody pops up. I guess you'll probably see it too. So how's everybody surviving the snow? Anybody having fun in the snow? Like my family is. <laughs> We've been sledding and cross country skiing a little bit. It's been, it's actually been nice. It's fun. My kids went skiing yesterday. Great. Where'd they go? Uh, Berkshire East. Oh yeah. We, we don't really do downhill, but so this might be the year. So it's good to yeah. know they're open. <laughs> they are open, but um, there's no walk up tickets permitted. Um, okay. So you have to buy them ahead of time because they're limiting the number of, of people allowed on the mountain. Makes sense. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. There's no waking up in the morning with a good snowfall and saying, oh, right. I'm skiing today. <laughs> yeah. And I've heard some places are doing parking reservations as well as mm -hmm. part of their number limits. Yeah. They oh, built a bunch of yurts at the base oh. so that people aren't going in the lot, you know, because they don't want all the crowds in the yeah. lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they're trying their best like we all are. <laughs> good good um, it's tough yeah it sure is okay so um i sent out just before the meeting i don't know how many of you got a chance to see it uh a, a, a memo that's going to be read in uh at tonight's uh, town council meeting but um great news i think which is that we interviewed and now have a fingers crossed a new a new member. Oh, I closed the. Yeah, she sounds amazing. So she, it was a great. So we only had one. <laughs> we only had one person in the pool currently, um, but we seem to have this great, great person. So I was just gonna see if I could find um, one second. I closed it, and now I need to open it again. The here we go. Um, uh, Shelly Kirkwood, who's a photographer. She went to Hampshire, I believe, and um, just moved back relatively recently, is eager to get involved in all arts-related things in Amherst. Um, one of the strong things that she said in her interview is that she's got grant writing experience and likes to work on grant writing and has lots of ideas <laughs> for making money or potentially making money, as well as um, just for helping us develop projects. So um, I was really excited and I, you know, hope it works out and that she is a constructive and engaged member of our commission. So 
So tonight she will be, um, hopefully, I never, uh, the town council should officially appoint her tonight, at which point then I will reach out to her afterwards and just welcome her on board and see if she wants to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me so I can kind of give her some background and catch her up and then um, hope she'll hit the ground running. So we still need one more member. That'll put us at uh, six. We can have seven. Um, she's being appointed to a three-year term. If you looked at that document, it actually spelled out also um, current members' terms. And I guess what they had done is extended Amy's and Ellen's through this summer. So it says that you're expiring June 30th, 2021. Um, I guess that's, is that an extension or is that what you, when you were supposed to expire? That, that I believe is the current uh, end date for our terms. Your terms. Um, yeah. It's possible to see if we could get an extension or you could be reappointed. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, let me know and I will reach out to Paul and find out more. Um, I totally understand if you're <laughs> ready to move on, but I will be sad to see you go for sure. Um, but we definitely need to have a big push between now and then to get a, keep keep the ball rolling and, and, and make sure we have as many yes. more slots filled as possible. Yeah. Any questions about that? No? Okay. So that, well, uh, I guess, okay. um, will you send an email once it's confirmed to everybody, to us, you know, to let us yeah. know? So we yep. can all at our leisure cheer her on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Yep. Um, other and then I'll add her to our content or our con whatever the contacts in our Google mm -hmm. group. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I, I don't think there's anything else to report from my point of view as chair. It's been very quiet. Um, I've been focused on other issues, as some of you may or may not know, and I'm happy to talk about those off camera. Um, so uh, Public Art Commission has been, except for the appointment, which to me was a really big step. The other thing is I realized when I read the minutes, shame on me, I dropped the ball on getting back in touch with Bianca about the press release. So I, I, I'll try to do that later today. Um, so it was, <laughs> the minutes worked as a prompt. Um, so I will get back <laughs> to that. And uh, I guess we could talk about the minutes and sign off on them. Um, Ellen, I sent you a friendly amendment, just um, the spelling of the last name of Lillian Sue, who is a, uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure her title, but she runs the Present for Art program in Cambridge. I, I, made, else. I made that change and I also accepted um, Shoshana's um, suggestion. So I can pull the minutes up on the screen or otherwise there are oh. no other changes. Uh, I have one. Um, which is not optional. It, the open meeting law requires the minutes to state two things that it doesn't. One is where the meeting took place, <laughs> which is, I don't know what you pick when it's on Zoom, but I guess Zoom. <laughs> and the yeah. other one is a uh, list of documents that were uh, used during the minute meeting. And in your defense, I've never seen those included I me. never knew about this law. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it came to my attention collaterally and I thought I'd bring it up because it's easy to do. Okay. So would that just be the minutes? Because I think that's pretty much the only document we typically would use. In one I of guess our we, we do talk about the grant for um, for the poetic dialogue, right? That's in there, like mentioned. So well, that's... That's if you have a document that's submitted to the meeting. If it's not a document, if it's just a subject matter, it's not. Okay. Okay. Although we should have a copy of, you know, whatever we can in our Google group so that we can refer to it later if we're, yeah. you know, if we're doing like the same project or we want to know details about that project or whatever. It'll be in our Google group thing, in our documents. I think I should send you both because I, um, the, the okay. one we reviewed at the last meeting um, was much more um, explanatory. And what I ended up submitting was really, really condensed. Um, they had very strict word or character limits. So I had to cut out, you know, two, three, four sentences. Um, it was tough. Mm -hmm. um, where is that Google Doc? I'm... It's in our Google group page. Okay. Do you not have the password for it? Because I can 
Yeah, okay. maybe send that to me. I'm, I'm just blanking on it at the moment. So, okay. all right, no. so I'll submit both docs. Okay. Well, I think, and this is, I don't know that this is required by the open meeting law because open meeting law was passed before Google Docs got invented, but it'd be a great <laughs> idea to have the address of the Google Docs page so that you can look on the minutes and it says that, you know, it'll, it'll, so you know where to go to find it. I'm a little spooked about that idea because like I don't want it to get picked up <clears throat> by like something and then just start getting like tons of junk mail oh. barraging us because it's like it's not a inbox that I check every day. I would point out just also that anything on that anything that we do is public so anything in that Google Docs folder is public yeah, so there shouldn't be any info there any personal info anything like that should not be there because yeah. um you know any because if it is then anybody can get to it um yeah so. that's one of the reasons i was mentioning putting it in the minutes for location because it's a public document the public can't find it yeah. yeah that's kind of it's kind of like the equivalent of somebody on the committee like a secretary having a, a file box that they keep the stuff in yeah. Except it's something that we can we can get to. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't feel too strongly about it, but you know, I, I a lot of times I can't find the documents, and some of my other organizations they've got documents. I don't know where they are, and uh, you know, I have been in the past needing to know, but I don't want to get you spammed to, to death. <laughs> put one character out of uh, put one wrong wrong character in it, then tell us what it is. Substitute Y for X or something. Well, let's hold off on that for the moment. I'm kidding. <laughs> why don't we, why don't we, we'll, let's not put the Google Doc address on there for now, but let's, um, Ellen, can you just add a, a line that says documents submitted, you know, just the title of whatever the doc, it's only the minutes, I think, really, that um, anytime recently we've sat down as a group and looked at together. You and I, Ellen, worked on the grant, Maybe just the two of us, but um, that yeah, was it. We approved the long version, um, but I'll actually, I don't know if I have the short version because it was a web, um, I'll have to look. I can't remember. I may have just edited it right in the mm -hmm. application. So. I want to revisit that again. Is there any way that the public could find those documents if they wanted to? The application? The Google Docs. Is there any way if somebody decided they wanted to find them, could they? They would have to file a request or ask us and then we could point them to it. We'll look at, okay. So, I mean, it's not, the public's not barred from accessing it. Well, I mean, as a practical matter. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, we can talk about it. I, the, oh, in terms okay. of like- uh, Let me look into it. Okay, whether like, let's say emails, right? I mean, the public can get access to our emails if they file a FOIA request, but we don't publish our, e we don't publish our emails. Well, I mean, technically, you're supposed to use a government email, but we don't have one. Right. I mean, All right. Well, to, let's put this on hold for now. I mean, this is a conversation to have with the Peck Town Manager. Um, but let's um, just say, Ellen, uh, let's can we take those two things as a friendly amendment and just vote to approve the minutes as submitted for this yeah. time? Does that include putting the Zoom address or the fact that it was sure. Okay. sure, you could just add held on Zoom. Okay. So I move that we approve the minutes from our last meeting in November. Second. Third. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All Quadruple. Right. Uh, if you agree, say aye. 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 Oh, All right. it, my computer told me I can't be on video, it's not me. Okay, uh, so then it's approved. So I know this is a technicality. Does, should I go back to all the old minutes that we've met via over Zoom and add that in? The place, only if you have, I mean, well, you, technically the failure to put that in is a violation of the open meeting law, but it's not a very serious one. As okay. chair, as chair I, I, I say you can, we can just do it moving forward. Okay. Unless otherwise commanded by a higher power. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, so no more chair stuff. Treasure report, has the money sort of come and went with the, do you know, Shona, for the um, electrical boxes? <laughs> have you seen it? I have, um, sorry, I'm trying to multitask, not doing a good job of it. <laughs> I will get you that information though, um, Ellen. Um, the, I emailed Holly last week about getting our like balance and she has not emailed me back yet. Sounds I'm fine. thinking, I'm trying to be mindful of the fact that maybe they're like not at full schedule at Town Hall still. Sure. So I'm being patient. And, but I'll, do you want me to email that to everybody once I get it? Or do you want to just wait yeah. till next month? Save it for the next meeting. It's fine. Okay. Um, thank you. So Ellen, uh, the next thing on our agenda is a poetic dialogue restoration. I mean, we kind of talked about it, but do you want to give us a quick official report? Um. Yes, I submitted the um, the grant application. Um, I was allowed to have three supporting documents, so I put in three photographs that Shoshana took, um, showing um, the poor condition. Um, yeah, I was bummed that it required <laughs> because um, both Jane Wald and Ann Tweedy had really great statements of support um, that I just. I, I could just take a little tiny snippet of, um, mm. but yeah, I was really disappointed not to be able to quote them. Um, but fingers crossed, I think we hear. I think it's a small enough town that word will get around anyway. Yeah, I, so <laughs> it looks like I, I, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe we hear mid March. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I think got they pushed out. That. Well, yeah, because I applied for the Juneteenth thing, and they in the email that they sent afterwards, it said it was like March, like mid March. That we. That makes sense though, because normally it would have been October. You'd hear by January, so if they moved it to December, yeah, okay. I did. I didn't think about the notification also getting moved out when they moved out the deadline. Yeah, El fine. Ellen, what was the final ask in terms of uh, amount? Two thousand. Two thousand. So. 1400 for Kamal and then 600 in um, landscaping upgrades, materials and great plantings. Great. And I don't know if the whole group knows, but DPW did commit to for free helping us do the, you know, cleaning up of the surrounding area. And then especially if we get money for nice plantings, I assume they would do that work. Actually, that's a, or would we hire somebody the town? Who does when the town, like in the traffic circle that sort of branches off to North Pleasant and, you know, where they have some plantings and stuff? Or... I think it's a combination of DPW and maybe the Amherst Garden Club. Mm -hmm. I think the Amherst Garden or... Club did something down by Atkins on those rotaries, but. And the, the BID has sometimes okay. uh, worked with Andrew's Greenhouse or some other um, landscapers for some of the pots and planters and things in town so i'll ask um some people i know in the in that circle of knowledge if um they could point me into the direction of figuring out like who to talk to about like what how exactly that goes down mm -hmm. and whether yeah. or not you know we need to contact the the garden club or volunteer ourselves or what Okay. And um, Jane Wall did say that she, you know, would like to be um, consulted and possibly partner with us on landscaping. So, okay, something else Great. we can consider too. Great. All right. Anything else on that? Nope. Great. Um, I think we're going to tear through the rest and be a short meeting. Boltwood Gallery Walk, Boltwood Walk Gallery proposal, no movement there. Um, I'll ask Paul about it again in the new year, I think. Um, okay. We'll see if we can get some something happening. I mean, one of the things I'm hoping with our new member and some fresh blood that she'll get excited about some of this stuff or maybe have a new idea. Um, so, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, it'd be nice to have her in on some of these conversations. 
percent for art. Um, you know, nothing there. Again, I think that's good to leave until the new year. Um, I don't see a big, big rush there for the moment, but that's a great project for moving into the yeah. end of winter and, and spring. Um, Town Hall Gallery, Amy? Um, so this month we will wrap up Chris Bordenka's uh, digital exhibit. I did send out emails to the town staff. So we had talked about hosting a town staff exhibit January and February of uh, the coming oh, yeah, year. Yeah. And I sent out an email again, offering to do the same for anybody there that might be interested to do a, a digital exhibit. And um, Angela also, you know, fed it out. Um, I've only heard back from one person, uh, but I've asked them if they were interested in having their art shared online to let me know by December 29th. Um, so I'll send out a reminder again um, and see if anybody from the town, our, our town artists, <laughs> town staff artists, take us up on that. If not, that we'll do something else, I guess. That's good. Anything else? Nope. Um, and no, I, social media is social media. All right. Sh sharing what we can. All right. Uh, so plans for moving forward or just bringing our new member on board and, um, yeah. you know, thinking about what Amherst and Art Amherst might look like as COVID, knock on wood, um, lifts with the vaccine and, you know, moving into the summer and next fall, you know, might be worth thinking about what kinds of celebrations we might contribute to, you know, mm. um, you know, Ann Tweedy had been planning that performance project around town that we had been involved in and that was going to happen in, I forget, like early in COVID, you know, April or May and it fizzled, but I I know she wants to bring it back when she can. Um, but are there other ideas that we have? Mm -hmm. um, one idea that came up with Arts Night Plus, but something that uh, we're, we're not able to handle as, as such a small group um, was, and, and this may also tie into some of what Anne was talking about, was uh, activating the arch the Boltwood Arch that's between um, uh, Crazy, Crazy Noodles, Noodles right. and, and you know, trying to have something in there, art related um, or performance or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and something Eric has this idea about these, um, like actually installing like permanent like display windows on the wall, on one of the walls there, the one that's opposite the entrance to Buena Wisano mm -hmm. in that tunnel. Yeah, like art cases where you could put art in them um, was was one idea. Um, so something to add to our ever growing list of ideas. <laughs> well, that that would tie in with uh, trying to do something with that space that would the, the poetry window space that so would be contiguous. You're right, yeah. So that could yes. work well together. That could work well together. Mm -hmm. well together. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the poetry window, by the way? So I, as I said um, earlier, that was the Boltwood Walk Gallery proposal. It's on. It's Paul hasn't done anything, oh. so I had to bug him about it. Um, my experience with Paul is that the arts have not been a priority for him. They've been pretty low on his rate, you know, sort of flying under his radar, and that it does take quite a bit of reminding to have these things move along. Uh, you may probably all seen that in one way or another. So I'll keep. Whoops! I'll keep reminding him. Yeah. Well, I get can... it. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts in Amherst, really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the top year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Wow. So let's talk about, I think we're going to, this is going to be our shortest meeting ever. Um, next, scheduling the next meeting. Mm. Although maybe we should, we could tentatively schedule it and then we'll reach out to, assuming that our new member gets appointed tonight and she's excited to be appointed. Um, we can confirm with her as well, but 
let's see. So it would be sometime, you know, January 18th ish. 18th, let's see. That's Martin. Martin. Yeah, that works. You care that that's Martin Luther King Day? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe the 11th? I don't. Oh, or we don't care. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. Yeah, it's not going to matter for me. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ain't anywhere. I think that's fine. So it doesn't we... matter for me either, but I don't know if, like, since the government offices are closed, we're not supposed to be meeting. I don't know. Um, well, do we want to look at the 11th or the 25th? I'd rather do the 11th than the 25th if it was a choice, because the 25th is Burns night. I, I can't put <laughs> it on the 25th. <laughs> All right, why, why don't we say the 11th? That's only in two weeks, though. Oh, is it? That's, 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 that's too that's, soon. It's three weeks. Uh, oh, I guess you're right. It's three weeks. Yeah. I think that last I think, week in December never counts, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Bill, I'd say, you know, 18th may be the first choice, the 11th be the second choice, and we'll see what um, Shelly may have as well. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll, I'll pencil on the 18th, and I'll double check with Angela in terms of um, whether there's an issue with MLK Day. Nope, all right. And uh, I will get back to everyone. Yeah, also the 1st of February is, is a Monday if we're sticking with this Monday thing. Seems to be working pretty well. Um, you know, just in case. That's a bit of a wait. So it is. I'd be inclined to, rather than wait that long, even move it to a different day of the week, that week of the 18th possibly, rather than do the 11th. But let's see if we can get the 18th, and then if not, we can round robin the email to figure out a time. Day. Okay. Yeah, the 18th would be perfect for me, actually. I'm hoping, here's hoping. Okay. Half an hour. <laughs> wow. Any, anything else? That anybody We're wants so to... efficient. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is not um, APAC related, but um, Bill, I'd be happy to chat with you for a few minutes um, about the schools. Sure. I uh, take you up on your offer. <laughs> yes, but let's not do it on this form. No, no, no I just meant <laughs> so. This. Yeah. Uh, we could, we could, once we get off this, if you want to give me a call, do you have yep. my phone number? Or I'll, I'll, I'll email it to you. Yeah. Send me uh, your number. That'd be great. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. Jim? Oh, I'm just going to move to adjourn. Anybody second? Second. Second. <laughs> all right. The meeting uh, is adjourned. Hey. The is adjourned. Ellen, and I will send you my phone number by email right now. Okay. Okay. Thank happy so, happy right, thanks, solstice. Yeah. Merry happy holidays. Merry holidays. Yes. Happy holidays. Yes. Happy holidays. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.